Uh, who are your top five SEOs to follow? You've already voted for yourself, okay. so five more. Well, so yes, of course, SirLinksalot.co, Nicholas Altimore, and Christopher Jesus of SirLinksalot are yeah, pretty solid. The best. Those guys. Um, okay, so I guess I already know who we're gonna say for for the top. We're both kind of infatuated with them since we did our podcast. Well, I'll I'll just say who. Well, okay, so yeah, Robert is amazing. Right? The the one downside to Robert is he doesn't really put out a bunch of content. He doesn't post anything. Yeah. So like no. basically, we have to like talk to him. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, it's not really someone you. Him. It's not really someone you follow. True. But, that is so true. yeah, basically, there's this guy from Poland named Robert uh, Nietzsche. Nietzsche. Yeah. And uh, we just had a podcast with him, so definitely go check that out. And he's like this super smart guy, and he loves AI, and he just. We love talking to him, especially about AI, and he does a bunch of programmatic SEO as well. Just a really interesting guy operating on a very high level with like all high the biggest level, brands yeah. in Poland, and I believe he's starting to do international as well. But I'll say out of like the people I follow, let me let me look up my YouTube. I'm gonna give a shout out automatically Diggity. to a guy. Yeah, that's you already knew who I was gonna go with. Um, yeah, Matt Diggity. Um, because, you know, on and off for a long period of time since I got started in SEO, I always really admired him above all else for what I thought was being honest and focused on giving like his best foot forward towards the people that were trying to learn SEO, that were trying to, you know, uh, kind of get a leg up in SEO. Um, and I remember... You know, it was a long period of time of going through all kinds of different um, SEO circles, seeing all sorts of gurus come and go. But the guy was always popular and I think always has had best intentions for the SEO community that follows him. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, de definitely Matt Diggity. Yeah, so dig um, yeah, Diggity, a follow. especially if you're an affiliate and stuff, he just puts out a lot of good information. Um, yeah. You know, even, even when I like watch his videos and stuff, I'll like, come away with like a little something I'm like oh yeah cool that's uh, you know something I didn't really think of before mm -hmm. or something some little thing that he's doing um, so definitely diggity I also really like authority hacker um, Gail and uh, Mark over at authority hacker uh, on YouTube I think there are or um, I think Gail might be on Twitter as well but uh, they put out some awesome stuff um, long long kind of long form video um, who else we got over here? Roof, Kyle Roof. Got Kyle Roof. Me. Kyle Roof's just like an all around run. great guy to pay attention great to. Guy. Been in the game a long time, doing a lot of stuff. Um, who else we got? I'm just looking at my YouTube right now. I don't really have like a ton of people on YouTube. Um, you know, it, it, and this is going to go back to like just like again kind of historical feeling on stuff but greg morrison um i don't know what he's doing now i don't really know if he's putting information out um but if he is uh, he was with omg machines and that's the first seo ever um that i was really following um that i feel like gave me just a a very straightforward viewpoint on how to act uh, as an SEO, um, especially because, you know, he, he kind of early on uh, talked about how he quite honestly might not be the most data driven or um, pro programmatically like uh, intelligent guy, which I identified with very much so. Um, but he, you know, was able to um, get SEO to work for himself and uh, then also execute um, plans of action for other people. So um, if Greg is still doing stuff and you look him up, then that is worth a follow, I would say. So another thing I'm going to say is to go check out um, our our yeah. podcast page. I'll go ahead and just link yeah. that in All the group All of our favorites are quick. in there. Go check that out. And I'll post it on Facebook too. Um, yeah, so basically we, the people that we're bringing yeah. on our podcast are just like literally some of our favorite people. <laughs> yeah, um, we, we reach out to them. Um, you know, like we're not, we're not accepting, typically we're not accepting, um, 
you know, people that reach out to us, like we're actually like, we, we want to talk to these people. Um, so yeah, and our favorites are going to be in there. And there's even a bunch more as well. Like, you know, but so on our podcast right here, you can see, uh, um, yeah, I'll, well, I'll, I'll put this on, uh, the other screen so you can see it. Uh, but yeah, you know, here's Robert, uh, Israel got it. Awesome guy, Craig Campbell, black, he's a super black hat guy. Fun, really fun to talk to Steve Toth, of course, Kyle Roof, Mads, Callan. And, you know, we're, we're, we're just kind of getting going here. We, we don't even have, you know, there's, there's a lot more here. Um, but yeah, and then it, it, it yeah, depends what platform you're on as well. Like for example, um, like on Twitter, there's a bunch of people that I follow over there as well that aren't even really like some of the bigger names, but there's just a lot of like value being passed around on Twitter. So you could go find me on Twitter and follow me, of course, and then uh, follow some of the guys I'm following over there. Um, yeah, Toth has an email list that's um, amazing. Yeah. Uh, sends out ad actionable advice every week um, that'd be worthwhile to be on. But yeah, kind of a long answer. Um, I, I know we're probably forgetting just a ton of people. There, the thing is, there's yeah. there's a lot of like good SEOs out there. Um, Corey. Yeah, Corey, of course. Um, haven't haven't looked at his course yet or anything, but you know his whole bring topical authority into the mainstream is definitely something uh, to watch and pay attention to. And he's kind of doing Challenge. a deep dive. Yeah. Yeah, Callan, Callan for domain hunting. Yeah. Um, Mads for management. if you want to know somebody. Yeah, A, management, but also just his ability to network. He is connected to all sorts of SEOs worldwide. Um, so, you know, you can kind of, if I were to like kind of think about it, it's like Mads would be an ultimate uh, hub follow um, in the sense that like anything that Mads is involved in, is going to include um, some of the greater SEOs in the industry at any given moment. Oh, someone else that I um, I actually started uh, following on YouTube lately is someone called Julian Goldie. Um, I've actually been doing a bunch of YouTubing lately because there's just been so much stuff going on with AI that I was just like really looking for a bunch of like kind of new stuff, right? Um, and found a bunch of junk, <laughs> a bunch of trash or so you right. you'd find a channel and you see one video and be like, Oh, these guys are good. And you watch the other videos and you're like, Nope. Um, but Julian Goldie, uh, has been doing a bunch of kind of like AI testing lately with a bunch of like kind of spam, spam AI stuff, which is, is fun. But, um, the thing is, is even though if that's not really the kind of SEO that I'm doing, um, just by the way that he talks about stuff, uh, I just feel like he's a very like genuine guy, and he the the way he always puts like disclaimers on stuff and like says says it how it is basically. Um, yeah. So it's someone whose videos I've I've come to like. Um, yeah, it seems seems like a cool guy to listen to as well. Um, but yeah, if you ever have any questions about certain gurus or whatever, you could ask us in our Facebook group, and we'll tell you yay or nay. We'll be the we'll be the deciders, right? I don't know if I want that kind of uh, weight on our shoulders. To be honest, I I prefer not getting into bullshit arguments with people on the internet. But there there has been a lot of times, like even recently, I saw one where one one guy, I'm not gonna say his name, called out somebody that I do admire, who we did mention, um, and I wanted to jump in there so bad, and I was like, this will not, it's not worth it. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of BS out there. No doubt about it. For sure. Hey everyone. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check the links below for more info on this topic, as well as other cool stuff like SEO case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking.